Hey guys, it's Kevin, the Backyard Scientist, and recently I've been noticing that a lot of people have been making some crazy squirt guns and stuff, so you've got Grant Thompson and Mark Rober both made some crazy water guns, and I thought it's time for me to enter the fight, so I made something pretty cool here. Hold on. Okay, so, these are not your average squirt guns. These squirt guns shoot molten metal. And this was the first one I made. I made it about a year ago, and it's pretty crude in design. So it's got a plastic air tank, it's got plastic hoses on it, and the reason I, I had to make a new one is because the cylinder is totally rusted and I can't refill it. So I made this beast. This is my new molten metal squirt gun. And it's made out of pretty much all stainless steel, stainless steel hoses, high pressure fittings. Everything works really great. It's super simple in design. It basically just uses compressed air to blow down into the hole here. You can see there's two pipes here and it blows compressed air through here. This is full of molten metal. It forces the molten metal out of this tube into a nice cool stream, hopefully. Well, I need to keep this air tight, so I need to use Teflon tape on the pipe threads here. But the problem with that is Teflon melts or decomposes at like 400 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So that limits the metals that I can use in the molten metal squirt gun. So we are going to be using pewter today. So I went over to Goodwill and I got this, uh, this vintage priceless pewter and just we're gonna just melt it down here. Yeah, that's nice. And we're gonna melt it down and then take some of this pewter and pour it into a mold. And this is what we'll be using to fill the gun with. Let's get started. Now it's time to melt the pewter, and it's easy to do because it has a low melting point of like 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't quote me on that, but it's easy to do with this garden weed burner. So I'm gonna turn it on and set up the cameras. Okay, now it's all melted, and this is the tricky part. Okay, everything's set, everything's ready to go. It's hot, I'm gonna wear this gas mask because I don't want to uh, breathe molten metal vapors in the air and set up the camera. Set up the camera, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Connected to the compressed air. Turn the compressed air on. All right, molten metal gun. Three, two, one. <laughs> That was just like a squirt gun. It was perfect. Oh, I forgot to trigger the camera. Oh, I forgot to trigger the camera. I was so excited. All right, guys, round two. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Awesome. I think I got it. I want to see what the stream of molten metal looks like coming right at the camera, but I don't want to shoot it at my camera, so I'm going to put a piece of glass right here in between the camera. Here we go, molten metal versus glass in three, two, one. Okay, let's check out the damage here. I'm surprised that it didn't break the glass. I thought for sure that the glass would have broken either from the heat or from the, uh, you know, the force of the metal hitting the glass, but let's see if I can peel this all off at once. Oh yeah, that's nice. So this is pretty cool. The whole thing just peeled right off and it's full of these molten uh, pewter stalactites on there. Yeah, stalactites, because it's like that. And it's pewter, so it's uh, so it's a really soft metal. So I can just bend it like this, and then we can melt it down and reuse it again. All right, for our next test, we're going to be destroying this nice, expensive um, pewter pitcher. So we'll see if we can cut through it with the molten metal. They're made out of the same metal, so it should work. Let's try it. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Let's go take a look at the damage over here. So, right here, this is the entry wound. And then this is the exit wound. The whole back of it was blasted out. It's still a little bit hot, but I let it cool down for about five minutes because I didn't want to be around all that dust. This wasn't even fair. This was like a hot knife right through butter. 
didn't stand a chance. And look at how far the uh, look at how far the spray went. There's spray on the driveway all the way all the way over to there, pretty much. See little bits of pewter over here. Focus. I don't know how I'm gonna clean any of this off. And look at this. It's even on the palm tree down here. Everything is completely covered in molten pewter, basically. Even on here, there's spray. This gun is bananas, or should I say it's watermelons? Let's do the next test. Now I'm gonna try to shoot this watermelon, and I don't think anything that crazy is gonna happen, but you can't have a backyard scientist video without shooting a watermelon or something, so. Let's try it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Dude! Yeah, it didn't do a whole lot to that watermelon. All right, this is gonna be the last shot with pewter because it's all the pewter I have left. I wanna shoot it into the fish tank and see what happens when it hits the water. So, uh, here we go. All right, let's try this in three, two, one. these paper towels in the bottom of the fish tank because I thought that there might be a pool of molten metal and it would uh, like crack the bottom of the fish tank but that didn't happen at all I mean it just exploded when it hit the water there's no solid pieces in here at all it just turned into popcorn it really just exploded just because we're out of pewter doesn't mean that the fun has to stop in fact it's just starting because you can shoot any liquid out of this gun and I mean any liquid so we're gonna be making some hot dogs but Hot dogs aren't a liquid, so we're just going to be shooting ketchup and mustard at them. So what we're going to do is just fill it halfway with ketchup and halfway with mustard. Then we can do all the hot dogs at the same time. There's the mustard. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. The plan is to get the ketchup onto all the hot dogs before the mustard starts coming out. And this can also run off of the built-in air tank, so I don't need the compressor hooked up to it. All right, here we go. This is ridiculous. Ketchup, here we go. There we go. Oh, here's the mustard. There we go. Oh, here's the mustard. Oh my God, that went so fast. That went so fast. I didn't even have time. This is a travesty. These hot dogs have no ketchup on them. I don't care, I like mustard. All right, now let's try some cheese. Wait a minute, that wasn't cheese. When I said this gun could fire anything, I meant it. All right, that was a ton of fun and I've got a ton of work to do cleaning up tomorrow, but before I go, I wanna show you one more thing. This is a Tesla coil I built and it runs on a vacuum tube. It's a special kind of Tesla coil because it's really quiet when I turn it on and I spent a lot of time building it. So it's got, I did all the wiring pretty much with copper pipe and I think it works great. So let me show you and when I show you, it turns off all these fluorescent lights up here, but Check it out. Haha, <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Oh, and you can touch it. And if you think that's cool, wait till you see this. All right, here we go. Sorry guys, but I had to. I had a ton of fun building this, but I don't exactly know how to work it into a video. Maybe I was thinking about, you know, I could destroy some stuff, do some cool experiments with the Tesla coil. I could teach you guys how to make the same one yourself. I don't know. There's tons of things you can do. So just let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can make it happen. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. See you next time.